guys welcome back to the channel hey do me a favor hit that thumbs up subscribe to the channel stick around for a while hit that bell notification that way you know when i put out a new video hey we put videos out on sundays and sometimes wednesdays sometimes thursdays depends how the week goes hey i'm out in the middle of a hay field second cutting is upon us 90 degrees out here we cut this down before the fourth of july and we were lucky to have the heat We've got 15 acres here I'm just finishing up with. We're gonna, we're gonna hit these end rows and clean this up, make it look pretty. Then we gotta head over about five miles and we gotta finish first cutting. Some scraggler fields that we rent, only about 10 to 15 acres each of them, but you're gonna get 30, 40 bales off each field probably because it's thick. You're only cutting it about one time. It's been growing all, all winter and half of last summer. So we're gonna get that going and head over. Let's go. told you guys about a half a dozen times quick pit stop before we hit them first cutting fields my buddy here uh biggest carrot farmer in the midwest i've been meaning to take you over to see his farm but instead we're going to take a quick pick stop i don't think he'll mind this is this is a carrot field look at this i mean if that's not beautiful i don't know what is you think he'll mind if i get one out no nah, i better not i bet there it is craig if you're watching I'm sorry, but this is what they look like. These guys are big operators, man. They got an onion field right over here. Check out the onions. These guys, they've got onions. That's what your onions looking like right there. That's the start of an onion and a carrot. Craig, I'm gonna take these as a souvenir. I wanted to show the people on YouTube. If you want, you can come over. I'll give you a swig of milk and we'll be even. Here's my earplugs, I dropped them. A little fun fact for you, Craig Grant, the owner of this operation, actually introduced me to the beautiful Rochelle that you guys have seen, my fiance. So, me and Craig are pretty good buddies. cutting field uh, as you can see this stuff it's thick it's a lot different than that field we just raked okay this stuff here it, it's an older hay field it's gonna get bailed up for the heifers okay that last field I just showed you that was one of our prime hay fields that we chop in so we chopped first cutting second cutting we're gonna dry down that pure alfalfa round bale put it in the barn a trickle a bale of that hay in every day every other day to the milk cows that's like, uh, that's dry protein that you give them. I almost use it to clean out their stomachs. I mean, it's almost like us eating, a, if you had to compare it to something, eating a piece of beef jerky. 
always always it's gonna be good on the on the solids coming out and they give you energy strength Yeah, so we've made it to our final destination. Another old, old dry hay field. This is about 30 acres, but it's cut up worse than you can believe. I got this tractor in a lower gear because it's hilly. Goes down the other side of this little pond here, and then it opens up in the back. The guy had horse pastures down there. We took out a bunch of fencing probably 10 years ago. Kind of a pain in the butt when you got machinery like this. This is big equipment. You really have to practice your maneuver like around trees and, and sinking that thing in the pond but like I say it's good to have because we ran out of hay I mean this this extra 20 30 bales here coming handy this winter
you guessed it, next day, got everything bailed. Just got this field off, two loads, they're taking them up. We got a second and a third field we're gonna try to get moved today. So let's get on board. Now those are some heavy duty stout bales. I think you can see that pure alfalfa. Got it dry, dry as a bone. I've already got one in the, in the barnyard I fed and the cows just attacked it. Maybe once we get these moved, I'll get in there. We'll feed them for the night and I'll show you how much they love it. Let's go. Made it to the back back side of the field one load just left you see we brought in the 4230 or the 4430 rather brought him into action why not when you're this close that way you don't have to use a pickup this field back here this is another prime that we we i call it a prime hay field because we chop it uh you can see how dry it is tile field has been so dry this year that believe it or not maybe you, some of you other farmers can comment the tile almost works against you so dry the non the non tile fields we have that are usually marginal well there's like there's a handful of them they're doing they're thriving we got soybeans on them and they look better than tiled fields because when they were so dry and you needed all that rain all that rain hit and it just sat there whereas as, as, when it hit here the tile started working and it started draining this massive drainage ditch look at this thing We've got nice drainage around here. Remember that oat field we took off, how brown it was? Can you see it over there? Lush, green right back up. We'll be cutting that another week or two. So, waiting for another wagon.
brown bales are moved, so that's raked, baled, moved off the field. Now a third cutting, it can rain. Hopefully third cutting will grow, grow back up. Cows are lined up eating. How are you doing, bud? And surprisingly, they're eating as well as they are with it being so hot. It's just hot. I wanted to give you a look at this round bale I dropped in. The How you doing, guys? You like that? You like that pure alfalfa? Guys, made it back home. Hey, cool in here, I'll tell you that. I wanted to show you a little project I was working on over the weekend. I gotta take Catherine to All-Star softball tonight. She made the All-Star team, so back up in North Branch for that. But hey, she did she tried her best and, and she got recognized as one of the top players on the team. So I what I did was I took and put a stain on these stairs. And two months from now less than two months september 4th we're doing the wedding in here we're cleaning this out we're going to be hanging stuff up lights not going to be using the shop lights tables tents you're all invited virtually i'll probably be doing a video on it i don't think i'm going to go live but you never know what i'll do so tell me what you think about the steps i got a paint here paint here and then i got this sign i don't know how old it is but it looks pretty cool i'm going to hang this up that's an old sign my dad got at an auction so yeah there's a softball we've been practicing so appreciate you stopping by that's your midweek video we're almost at 25,000 subscribers but not quite so subscribe if you haven't already done so hit that thumbs up appreciate you stopping by uh see you this weekend hopefully the rain moves in so that third cutting can grow okay take care and god bless <music>